Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another series here by the Bison Bites Gaming Channel. So we've gotten done with uh, the holidays here. Well, we've got still got New Year's coming up, but Bison wife and I had a wonderful time over the uh, Christmas holiday. Um, if you don't celebrate that and you celebrate something else, by all means, I wish you all a wonderful whatever holidays and enjoyment that you celebrate or don't celebrate. Regardless, uh, took a little bit of time off and I am back now. Glad to be back recording. I have also decided to take a crack at a game which I have yet to actually play. Which you may be thinking, well, Bison, why do I actually care? Well, for you, you probably don't. For me, I actually have played over a thousand hours of XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. Love that game. Uh, this was before I started recording anything, so I don't have anything up on that, but that might be a future video or a future series for us. Regardless, I have never actually booted up XCOM 2. It was always too big, too much, and I was always too interested in playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. So it has been sitting in my Steam library for a very long time. Uh, yeah, so I dug it out and uh, decided to start recording this today. I think we all might enjoy this. Um, and yeah, let's take a dip into it. So let's start up. I'm thinking for this series the first time around, I think we just do a normal game. I don't really want to do uh, Iron Man or I guess uh, anything super hard here. A longer game with no margin of error significant challenge we might have to go to veteran or commander here mm. let's bump it up to commander why not uh reduce beginner vo voiceover nah let's let's keep it on there and let's go into the tutorial all right what else do we got here oh mod wise i know one of the biggest pains in everybody's butt with XCOM Enemy Unknown was getting mods into that game. Long War, absolutely one of my most favorite mods of any game whatsoever. Completely redesigned the game. Um, I know on XCOM 2, mods are as easy as the Steam Workshop, so yeah, the only mods currently that I have on is are the mods to enable the mech warriors on here. Um, if you'll remember back in Enemy Unknown, we had mech warriors where, oh, I am sorry about your ears right there. We had mech warriors for uh, chopping your soldiers up and then throwing their cybernetic bodies into a mech warrior battle suit. Um, partially one of the reasons why I never really wanted to play XCOM 2 was the lack of mechs. But through the power of modding, we have mech warriors in here. If I am absolutely missing something, please by all means leave me a comment below that I need to throw in X, Y, or Z mod on here. All right, let's take a look here. Optional narrative content. I want it all. We're doing War of the Chosen. Um, yeah, we want alien hunters on. Oh, can we not do all these? Taste in here, download the guy, you know. Okay. Can I not do Shin's last gift here? I'd have to do all of that. Integrated download. Dip. Disabling this option will restore the downloaded, downloadable content to its base game functionality. But all of the, uh, come on. Content will remain enabled. Okay. Um. We'll just see. If we don't get it, we might have to restart, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully this gets us Shin's last gift, Accessing War of the, the Chosen, now. all of that. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Gotta love Central Command Officer Bradford ordering everybody around. What do we have here? I have 
a feeling this guy is about to meet his untimely demise. Is it really even a he though? I mean, they've been so modded out right at this point in the story that it's sort of half human, half alien hybrid. Who knows what gender it was like at that point. He, she, it, advent. What, do we have like the Predator here? We got like Sam Fisher Predator going on here in the vents. Almost like infrared vision eyes. Not quite. It wasn't our fault. <laughs> what is that? Please. Do people actually understand this? There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? Oh! You one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. <laughs> They never have any choice. They all say. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Oh god, who is a voice actress? Ah. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Alright, well we'll figure it out in a bit. Excitement continues to build as city centers across Oh, nothing the world like a good military parade. The 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack Just 12? by fringe elements, they... operations at the new facility is across impacts, America? Or what's left of America? I mean, come on. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved That dude looks like when you have like a magnet with a bunch of like iron shavings. <laughs> number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. The floggings will continue until morale improves. Bradford seems less than pleased. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. Sixty seconds. <laughs> oh, don't like him. I think part of the problem is, I mean, we're Americans. We don't particularly enjoy learning new languages. How do they expect us to learn that language? Yeah, I mean, gobbledygook. Come on. Everybody's probably like, dude, American, come on. Speak it. No. Shooty boys, shooty boys and girls. Let's hope I don't embarrass myself first entirely first, here. You need to get out of sight. 
Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy that. Moving up. Oh, say. Yeah. All right, right click to move. Nice, cool. Unit flag, the unit flag shows selected soldiers, health and actions remaining. So those little bars are actions remaining. Those are health, two actions a turn. He In has position, one. But I'm exposed here. It's better than Since nothing. he already moved. So XCOM is a game. Oh, like I'm so sorry again. Head. XCOM Hold is out. a game of strategy and randomly generated numbers I, I guess you end up taking positions around the maps with your soldiers who all have individual powers and damages and guns and all sorts of fun toys play with um, and you were facing off equally skilled and dangerous enemies and you need to find a way to kill everything else and live um, while you were doing it. So, you can move your soldiers anywhere around in here. Um, you can take cover. You have high cover and low cover. You'll see right here the little half shield means he is in low cover, so only half cover, which is not nearly as good as if I would move him right over to here, which the tutorial wants pressure me to do. Two. High Stay cover close. is Keep alive. Half cover is basically dead. So the blue move is your first move. You can take a blue move and then take a second yellow move after that. Um, or you can just burn them both. Double time. In this case, the tutorial wants me to burn both of them. They're holding position. We're going to have to go through them. Stay out of sight till we're ready to strike. Copy that. One thing that I do know from watching people play this before the is the stealth element set. in this. We'll only get one shot at this in the shadows yeah so the concealment element here i've not played around with this but i have seen it all right most mission starts with the squad in concealment use concealment to set up ambushes if any of your soldiers are spotted all of your soldiers lose the benefits of concealment enemies are not aware while you are concealed use concealment to advance and set up ambushes so let's okay it won't let it's on rails it won't let me do anything Stay else so I guess don't you don't have to be close. in high cover? They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. Gotta love the action cam. <laughs> they may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Remind me to thank the old man. That's the red boy. Red Boy has the full Burger King helmet hat. <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. Do it. All right, press enter or left click on an active action buttons to activate the tactical UI. Okay, that would probably be this. Click fire weapon or press enter to confirm the attack. So we've got fire weapon. select our targets down here so you can see we have a 68 percent chance to hit this person so basically it is rolling a 100 sided die and it randomly generates number anything uh, you know, uh it's got a 68 percent chance to hit so anything i guess above 32 in this case so 33 through 100 would hit anything below would miss um we also have the option to overwatch, which the first enemy that moves in my line of sight will get shot. Um, in this case, I think it wants me to take a shot at somebody. So my guess is this is a guaranteed hit since it is the tutorial. <coughs> there you go. Yep, looks like it was guaranteed and the fun begins. Losing concealment. The entire squad loses concealment. All right, when an enemy sol attack, when you break windows or kick doors. Okay, that's a good one. And soldier is flanked or steps on the protection tile. Okay. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. Normally, I don't think I would engage this closely, but okay. Close right now. Be careful. 
Yeah, this was a poor idea of slots, but that's okay. All right. And every shot is randomly generated, so... It kind of sucks that they kill one of your people in the tutorial. Um, but I guess nice work. say lovey. Um, in this case, we have linked this enemy, so let's go ahead and put a few in his head. In his brain dome. Ow! <laughs> All right. I cannot wait to start leveling these soldiers up and playing with their abilities. Oh, I bet it was Bradford. Bradford in the back, right? Yes, indeed. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Oh! Transmission. American History X right there. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. <laughs> Get that gun. It's got two it laser true. sights no right in front of each to. other. Ridiculous. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. Transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. Actually, I would much rather go grab that thing. I know that they have like attachments here. I, 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 would, I would like to get that attachment, but okay, fine. I'm on it. Keep your Gotta eyes love peeled. the tutorial. Fire on anything that moves. Right, so we'll go on Overwatch. Um. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Okay. Go, Bradford. Menace 3, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need yeah, anything we, should. we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. See, normally I would probably take this spot right here since we've got incoming right over here, but I guess it wants me to take the inferior spot. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need, I don't need good cover. Yeah, we'll take a scope. Scopes are good, right? They don't have scopes. Okay, run and jump. Uh, come on, break a new window. Stick it to the man, come on, who cares? Not your window. All right, so they've dropped some people off. Hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. Come on, take one down. Eat it. <laughs> well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. <laughs> I don't feel. I don't feel like you uh, are long for this world, Osai. Osie. All right, 49, 48. He can most certainly flank me, so this is called run for your life, I feel like. No, okay, fine. I guess we shoot since it won't let me run. 
Yeah, I should have overwatched, I guess. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Okay, we'll hack this door. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Guaranteed. Oh, can you pick? Nice. No fail. Hack ward gains immunity. I wonder if it's this soldier gains it or somebody else. Soldier immediately gains that. Uh, let's let's aim for that. Oh, so close. I don't know, hacking a door would give you cover or superhuman strength, but, you know. I guess it maybe it does. Well, let me overwatch. Wonderful. Well, my soldier out there is just done. Let's hope our intel is good. <laughs> the gun is ridiculous! This is the place. Fiction. Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to Next Perfect. Perfect shatter. Soldiers can carry unconscious, dead, and bleeding out units. This allows the soldier to retrieve a fallen comrade. Carry unit. Whoop. The goo's got to stink. You know it stinks. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Goodbye. Nice knowing you, Peter. No. Central, Crasher One is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit now. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Jane Kelly. She's from the first one. Got Hell yeah, covered. Jane. Jane, you've had a grenade this whole time. All right, throw a grenade over here. Blow through the wall. Yeah, Jane Kelly was in the pool in XCOM Enemy Unknown, or within. Uh, she was a soldier you could randomly get. Bradford is a beast carrying a dude on his back like that. No, not Jane. Okay, good. Be mad if the tutorial kills Jane Kelly. You do it. Bradford, no! Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Get to the chopper. <laughs> All right, call. It's like call for his P evac zone. So sweet. Okay, so um, do I just leave Jane Kelly forever? Retreat! Get to the job! <laughs> I dig the story, but not a big fan of the tutorial. So. What?
screaming and angry cyber commences. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. I oh, had no scary. idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. Oh yeah, cranial intrusion. That seems pleasant. <clears throat> I've managed so. to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really it's more like a of course they are. coat hanger These that he's branding were never with the name. To be removed. We are risking severe. No plan B here, people. Do it. Oh, yeah. Mr. Spiky. Response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. It's me. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Nice little Almost XCOM 1 throwbacks. Out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Pretty sure he already gave me that line. All right, the commander's quarters. Commander to the research labs. I'm gonna go to the research labs. I wanna look around my sweet quarters. Oh, nope. all right, well, to the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit, a device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. 
Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Is this guy like guilt tripping me for pulling the thing order, out of Commander, my brain? I will begin researching the advent chip for possible insights as to its function. One day, not available, not available, not available. All right, one day, alien biotech it is. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Commander, to the armory. All right, so this is the, from what I know, the Avenger, which is a alien freighter, which was repurposed for the resistance. And you can see this is the honeycomb, the ant farm, I guess, if you will. Uh, XCOM 2, XCOM 1 had one, except you were burrowing beneath the ground. And this one, you have a ship to fill out. All right. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Absolutely, The Ranger Jane serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. You want to chop some people up, Jane Kelly? I'm, I'm more than game. All right, so she's Ranger slash attacking enemy with Movement range with your sword. Okay. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander. Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. I'm down for that. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Word. Can I change literally anything? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Maybe I can. Cool. Frag grenade. Okay. Is there literally any difference? No. So it's either a t shirt or Let's give them some armor, because you know, it makes them feel better about dying. <laughs> Excellent. I see that uh, Rookie Ferguson here has decided he no longer needs pants. Excellent work, Ferguson. Alright, Colin Ferguson. I got my eye on you. Oh no! I removed it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, he wants to be Mad Max, he can be Mad Max. Why not? Look at them short shorts. Those are warrior short shorts. <laughs> Tactical short shorts. Who's got short shorts? Colin Ferguson. That's who has short shorts. Communications with resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. 
These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. All right, Operation we Purple Mist. At all costs. Okay. Well, um, I think we're going to try and keep these to about a mission apiece here. Otherwise, they're going to be very long. I realize the tutorial was probably not the most entertaining of all of the uh, missions to come. But please uh, hit the like. Please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out immensely. Helps me continue to give you fun new content. Um, and join us in the next episode for Operation Purple Mist. Look at it. All right, Bison Bites out.